All right, just gonna do a short intro here to a little clip reel that every electoral college voter needs to see. We'd all have a much better understanding of Trump if he were transparent and like all previous presidential candidates in the modern era, released his taxes. But he guarded them. The electoral college needs to be well versed in this guy come Monday. Maybe put off the electoral college vote by a month until you've gathered enough details. Maybe request his taxes in addition to the request for an intelligence briefing on Donald Trump's intimate connection with Vladimir Putin and communist Russia. The first step has been taken to ask about this unseemly connection between an American citizen and a Russian dictator and the hacking that went on during a U.S. presidential election and how it was interfered with through hacking, subterfuge, and other criminal, criminal actions that Donald Trump encouraged. You can determine the level of unfitness simply by watching these few following clips. involved with Putin for I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. I don't know anything about him. And I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. And that's why, if it is Russia, nobody even knows it's probably China. Or it could be somebody sitting in his bed. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. He said one nice thing about me. He said I'm a genius. But there's nothing I can think of that I'd rather do than have Russia friendly. Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with people? Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along as an example with Russia? I'm all for it. I have no relationship with Putin. Putin even sent me a present. Beautiful present with a beautiful note. I spoke to all of his people. When people like me, I like them. Even Putin, you know, Putin, they want me to disavow Putin. Putin of Russia, he said Trump is a genius. Vladimir Putin has been a stronger leader in his country than Barack Obama has been in this country. Let me say this about Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is an aggressor that does not share our interests. Uh, Vladimir Putin um, is violating the sovereignty of neighboring countries. Um, it, it certainly appears that he is conducting in state-sponsored cyber attacks on what appears to be our political system. Um, that is not uh, acting in our interests, and that is an adversarial stance, and he is acting like an adversary. Donald Trump is gushing again over Vladimir Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. Trump believes Putin called him brilliant a few months ago. Putin later said he only called Trump bright. But tonight, it's Trump's comments about the Russian president's leadership made to NBC News, which have brought serious fallout. I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system, but certainly in that system, he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. Putin, the man who invaded Ukraine, annexed Crimea, backs the brutal Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad, crushes those who oppose him inside Russia, and may well be responsible for the hack of the Democratic National Committee's computers. That Vladimir Putin, Trump says, outshines President Obama, a career intelligence analyst and executive at the CIA, FBI, and the White House National Security Council, is also troubled by Trump's declaration that he'd have a very good relationship with Putin. Donald Trump didn't even understand, right, that Putin was playing him. So in Putin's mind, I have no doubt that Putin thinks that he's an unwitting agent of the Russian Federation, although Putin would never say that. I can imagine, at least in the early stages, uh, Putin sort of getting Trump to believe everything that he says uh, by flattery, by, uh, by taking Trump seriously, by complimenting him on his leadership ability, um, and then being a bad faith negotiator, which he always is. Do you trust intelligence? 
uh, not so much from the people that have been doing it for our country. If Putin wants to go in, and I got to know him very well because we were both on 60 Minutes, we were stable mates, and we did very well that night. I have no relationship with Putin. I don't think I've ever met him. I never met him. I don't think I've ever met him. You would him. know it if you did. I think you? so. Yeah, I think so. So I've, I don't think I've ever met him. I mean, if he's in the same room or something, but I don't think so. Never spoken to him I've on the phone? I've been in Moscow. I didn't meet him in Moscow. Where? Never spoken to him on the phone? Uh, I have never spoken to him on the phone, no. And I spoke indirectly and directly with President Putin, who could not have been nicer.